What is going on, collectives? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. Honey, somebody got something to say to you. Is where I'm at is four something, five something in the morning. So I went to use the bathroom and Spirit said, get out your cards, honey. There is a message for someone. So, you know, wherever you at, if nobody told you this morning, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter. And we going to tap in to see why the hell y'all got me up out of my sleep. All right. What is the urgency of putting out this message at this time? And we're going to get to it. We're going to follow suit. We're going to listen to our spirit, guys, right? So Archangel Mike on a leg bar, protect me as I channel for the collectives. And what is the most important messages that they need to know right now? All right. Ooh. Y'all definitely need to know something. This is the Hierophant energy. All right. This could be a commitment. This could be somebody in the wee hours of the morning praying to God. This could be... Y'all just having something heavy weighing on your mind, all right? Y'all could be discussing this with somebody of um, authority and spiritual matters, all right? But there's a commitment going on. There's something being taught. There's something being thought about. There's an action or something that's about to be pursued, all right? Um, let's see why this hurricane is here for you guys. Spirit, tell me more about this Hierophant for the collectives. The Knight of Swords. All right, the Temperance. Somebody is trying to have balance and a commitment. Somebody is trying to trying to stay on their spiritual path or they're there. You guys are trying to stay aligned or peaceful or, you know, you guys are trying to trying to incorporate peace rather than destruction. But there's somebody in the night of swords that's trying to take y'all out your peace. You know what I'm saying? You know how when. You in a commitment or you in a relationship where you just trying to be the peacemaker all the time while the other person is just wailing, arguing. Um, this is, this is impulsive communication. The Knight of Swords is somebody that is swift, that's fast to anger and slow to change. I'm hearing. This person that y'all dealing with, it's hard to keep the peace in a commitment. It's hard to keep the peace in a relationship. Hierophant, Knight of Swords, because somebody always want to challenge what you're saying. Somebody always wants to challenge what you're trying to incorporate in a union or incorporate in an establishment. Somebody is trying to challenge what you're preaching. It's like they're not trying to practice what you're preaching. All right. And all I see you doing is trying to preach some common sense in somebody's head. Like the Hierophant to the temperance. Like this is somebody that's trying to tell you, like, have some common sense. Why are you reacting the way you reacting in a situation like this? This is what y'all telling somebody. You know, the, the temperance is the opposite energy of the Knight of Swords. It's complete temperance. It's complete balance and harmony. This is this is somebody not moving fast. Or this is somebody not moving off of impulse. You guys are actually processing what's going on so that way you can find a solution. But it's like trying to find a solution to a mad person. <laughs> trying to find a solution or calm somebody down that has completely gone bonkers all right this is what i'm seeing it's like y'all keep trying y'all keep trying y'all fuck around and go to church with this person and as soon as something happened all of that temperance energy all of that hierophant energy that wise counsel that talking that trying to understand you know trying to keep order so that way shit could keep going it goes out the window when somebody gets upset so, Spirit, tell me more about this um, 
about this energy. It's like trying to keep. That's why I couldn't sleep. That's why I couldn't probably go back to sleep. Y'all fuck around and be woken up in the middle of the night. Probably by your own thoughts. Or this person arguing with you. And you could be like, yo, we was just good all day. What you talking about? And this person done, done thought about something. It's like they quick to anger. As soon as they think about something, they 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 are acting instead of processing their emotions. All right, yeah, balance. Two of Pentacles. They need to balance shit out. Spirit, tell me more about this energy, please, and thank you for the collectives. And this is a lot of red. I'm seeing a lot of red and I'm seeing a lot of blue. So what that's telling me is somebody hot-headed. Like blue is giving me crown chakra energy. It's giving me healing. But the red is like that passion. So somebody is hot-headed. Knight of Swords. That's all I keep. That's what's right. Really um, showing its presence. This Knight of Swords. It's like no matter what you do. This person, this person is going to get angry. The two of wands. All right. So the Hierophant is here trying to find a way. The Hierophant is speaking something in the universe to create a plan, find a solution. And it's looking like the only way they want to find that solution or be in control over that plan that they're trying to speak about or trying to gain control over is by themselves. That's somebody taking the right action and saying, hey, I can't deal with this hot head um, energy no more. I can't deal with this impulsive energy no more. I can't deal with all of this arguing when I when I want peace in the home. I can't deal with it. And somebody is taking action to seek another plan, find another way, do things differently because whatever is work is not working here. No matter what y'all do. This is somebody realizing I have to change because... This shit not working. This person not listening. This person is very fast to anger. Okay. They can even be inquiring about what you have plans. They can be very impulsive with that. Like just very invasive. But there's something planning. It's like your voice has to be heard. What you saying definitely could shake a nation. Hierophant energy, temperance energy. This is coming from the angels. This message that the Hierophant is speaking to people or to two people or to somebody. It's coming from angelic frequency. It's coming from, it's coming from the gods. So how the fuck somebody ain't listening? <laughs> That's why y'all like, you know what? I'm going to take what I've been thinking. I'm going to take what I've been doing. I'm going to take my downloads and the information I'm receiving somewhere else because clearly somebody not believing me. <laughs> All right, look. This person is not allowing y'all to get no sleep. This person fuck around and can't sleep. All right, this is a lot of swords energy, so this could be a um, you could be a fire sign or an it sign, is what I'm seeing out here. All right, but whoever is in this night of swords energy, they not allowing you to sleep. It's like you gotta go outside. Like every time you try to get some peaceful sleep in your household with this person, this person is arguing with you about something. They always trying to get something off their chest. In the weirdest hours of the night. And I feel like they know what they're doing. Because at nighttime, you know, that's rest. There's no reason why you 
while you're speaking or delivering a message of angelic frequency or something that was put in your heart by the divine, something that you know to be true from an unseen force, what, why wouldn't you be able to sleep? It's because it's too much stress when nobody is listening to you. When you feel like the information that you are receiving or the information or the solutions or what you're speaking about that you know to be true, you feel like it's not being heard. It's not validated. Okay. And with all this screaming and fighting, it's like every time you try to get some rest, every time you feel finally a, a, a peaceful experience, temperance this person fucks it up that's why i can't like y'all had to get this message out y'all feel like y'all can't even go to sleep without this person trying to come to you before you go to bed and trying to clear something out you could literally have talked to this person all day right about what was going on how you felt you know what your beliefs are and this person would turn around and you thought they forgot about it and they didn't. And they coming at you with more. They want to, they want you to validate more. They want to, they want you, they want to ask you questions. It's like you in an interrogating room right before you go to sleep. That's not a good way to sleep. And that's why y'all can't sleep. <laughs> For real. Bitch, y'all yeah, be sleep. <laughs> so the fact that this message it's coming out. Spirit like put this out because this is how somebody feel. But somebody about to, y'all about to leave that situation. With this two of wands, leaving, I don't think was the problem. I think that the just to, the commitment that you made to God, the commitment that you made to probably the universe and trying to thug it out in this establishment, in this situation. But all of that is about to be out the window because you're not going to keep trying to fix something that's already broken. You're not going to try to continue to plead your case when you know that your case is not being heard. As soon as you fall asleep or get into that bed, somebody want to bring up the past or somebody is just very impulsive to try to fuck up your rest, to try to fuck up your peace. This person, yeah, like this person is literally intentionally trying to fuck up your peace. They see you probably in the bed tight, like, yo, I don't even want to do this shit. I don't want to argue. They get angry at that. They could be literally arguing with you at night, waking you up in the wee hours of the morning. And you like, what the fuck are we talking about? And they talking about some whole nother shit. They talking about who you sleeping with. They talking about who you been dating. They been talking about who you been on the phone with. You hear me? I'm telling you. They, they, they. And for some of you guys, <laughs> for some of you guys, you've been engaging with other people. You've been, you know, having conversations that can help you out of this stressful energy. And the conversations that you've been having, King of Swords, Ace of, Ace of Wands, it has been impactful. It has been resourceful it has been comforting it has been supportive it has been energetically felt by this man masculine energy to create a plan they took that ace of wands and they made it to the two said saying uh-uh i gotta take the advice this person is telling me i gotta take my own advice because this shit crazy <laughs> you know what i'm saying for real yeah, you've been communicating this. A lot of shit that's been coming back and resurfacing from the past with this energy and you just not here for it. You like, first of all, I'm the man of the house or I'm the masculine in a situation, king of swords. Why the fuck am I dealing with anything that's making me not peaceful in the household? I'm all about peace. The king of swords is all about finding solutions. All right. They're really in their feelings. And that's probably the problem. They keep having to act in times where they're supposed to be peace. They keep having to have their guard up, ace of wands, every time when they're supposed to be love or patience or togetherness. 
There's no peace and wherever that's at. But I see that there's peace outside of that place with the two of cups. The two of cups could be anything. The two of cups could be a friend, a sister, a relative, somebody other than that energy that is making you balanced. That is making you feel like everything is going to be a right ace of wands. That is actually speaking, right? Communicating, right? The eight of wands to the ace of wands. That's great communication coming in energetically. So, yeah. Somebody made that judgment. This this king of swords. He turned into that king of swords and said, yo, I can't deal with this shit no more. I cannot deal with me trying to get rest. So I can make wise decisions for everyone as a whole, right? When the sun comes up, um, Hierophant energy. So that way I could think with um, Empress, Empress, come here. Um, so that way I can think and understand what the fuck I'm doing. This could even be also fighting back. The eight of wands to the to the fucking ace of wands. This person fighting back like, no, uh-uh. We not about to do this. I'm not about to keep getting woken up out my sleep. I'm not about to keep not getting a good night's rest. When clearly what I'm saying is a message from God. This is a messenger from God. The Hierophant to the temperance. That's a messenger from God. Imagine you being a messenger from God and nobody's trying to hear what you're saying. Nobody's trying to understand where you're coming from. Nobody trying to understand anything but their impulsive actions. This is somebody fighting back. Like, but taking action. Child. Child. Child, child, child. There is a huge change in a win with this um, judgment. And again, you know, the judgment is when shit coming back up from the past. Like, is you going to handle it or is you going to keep it in the coffin? All right. This shit could even be in about working. Spirit, anything else? Yeah, this, y'all, this thing is over. Cause y'all have to, y'all have to keep y'all God up when y'all literally a uh, divine messenger from the gods. You're you're being overtalked, overlooked, challenged. There's a lot of retaliation. People don't want to follow your orders, and you're actually speaking from the angels, from the spiritual realm. Look, Ace of Swords, you're speaking the truth. This is clear communication coming in. All right. About a damn family. Everything that you've been speaking is the truth. Whether it triggered this, this night of swords or not. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. About which, what somebody wanted in the family. What somebody wanted on a soul level. The happiness. The fulfillment, the security, the stability. All right. Somebody's out the, the Knight of Wands. Look out, damn, and moving forward fast, successful with a victory. I'm telling you, somebody was, y'all been. Even if y'all was mentioning like this ain't going to work. Like I just feel like it's better if we just move our separate ways or whether y'all was going to work in a relationship or not. You've been expressing what it is, what you've needed from a relationship, a commitment. You, you've been expressing it. All right. And being met with challenge, envy, jealousy, not being able to sleep, always arguing. Look on this side of the King of Swords. This person was like, I need, I want this. I want a happy family, whether 
we separate or not. I want a happy family. This person has been speaking the truth. Okay? This first this person has been taking inspired actions. Okay? This person has been changing their lives, making a judgment call. You know, fast. This this been happening so fast. This this masculine or whoever's in this king of swords energy probably even they don't even have a chance to love cuz they're so busy defending, moving, battling. That's why the 10 of cups is like I want love. I want love whether if I have to find it within myself, I need to start thinking with my heart because thinking with my mind is only preventing me from removing myself up out of this toxic environment when it comes to communication. All right. This person is tired of moving fast, tired of moving around, tired of hopping around, tired of receiving all communication. All right. It's a lot for somebody. Okay. On top of that, to be held with taking action and um, everything. Like when can you sleep? And then when you do sleep, there's no rest. There's no peace. All right. But whatever you've been communicating, it has been true. Whatever direction you are taking in situation, it is in the right direction because you went from the Ace of Wands to the motherfucking eight. You went from the Ace of Swords to the motherfucking judgment. That's a clear judgment. Call cool to remove yourself <laughs> and start thinking with your mind and your heart. All right, but more so, maybe you gotta, you know, like this person is not, yeah. They like, fuck this. I can't. I cannot. Yeah, look, a karmic relationship. They're moving past this karmic relationship. And when I'm seeing this, the, the karmic energy is basically possessiveness. You know, like wanting to have control over the conversations, somebody's vessel, you know, the direction of the relationship. Then damn sure didn't want to receive any message from God. Okay. They didn't want us to receive any message from God because this person clearly had a divine messenger in their energy. Okay? This person is moving on quick, fast, because they gained some type of confidence. They gained some type of inspiration. All right? You guys got out of your head and started doing do something and moving towards and pursuing a connection that y'all was passionate about. Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands never give up. And when somebody has sparked their interest in a time of needing support and a time of needing to be recharged again with that life, they're going to move forward. They're moving forward fast. And they feel like this direction is a victory. The chariot is all about success, progress moving forward, victory over conflict, assured progress. And whatever it is that you are pursuing, you're actually getting being divinely guided and escorted throughout this situation because you've been a messenger from God. You've been a messenger from God. Temperance to the motherfucking Herophant. What you think you're communicating? You're communicating things that's going to benefit everyone based off of the experiences you've been having. All right, so yeah, that karmic energy, whoever was this knight of swords and this trying to like fuck your piece up, they was karmic. Damn, it was the queen of wands fuck around. <laughs> they was trying to control you. The queen of wands is also that somebody that's hard to release control over their possessions, over what they desire. Um, out of alignment, they are not balanced in a temptation. So what all of they wants and needs could swallow them up. They're ready to risk it all. Okay, yeah, they're ready to risk it all for, for money, all right, for success, to look like they are the one that is on top, or it was like an ego thing, six of wands to the um queen of wands, it's like this is an ego thing, like they don't never want to be not right in this situation, this person was ready to knock you up out your sleep. Just to 
make a point. Six of wands. Like they wanted to be seen. They had this ego thing. Is what it's looking like. Yeah, but inside they were sad. This is somebody that was dealing with trauma and codependency and abandonment. This is somebody that had, that had low self-esteem, but to everyone else, it may look like this person was the life of the party. Whole time, they were scared of rejection. They were scared that somebody was going to overshine them in the room. So what they did, they moved crazy with communication. It was their mouth. Knight of Swords. This person was reckless with their mouth. Over possessive. Thought everything was theirs. You hear me? And the shit wasn't balanced. It needed to be balanced. Temperance energy. Especially if she considered this person to be removing themselves from this commitment, removing themselves. She didn't, she didn't want to listen to the messenger of God. She thought she was God in this ego, devil energy. She thought she was God because of the attentions that she was receiving from the past. But time is changing. Now what you going to do? Now what you going to do when somebody else is more beautiful at heart than you? And they found them. All right. What somebody's going to do when somebody cut you off from all income and resources? What you going to do when somebody is recognizing you for who you really are? Comment rather than your beauty or your ass. <laughs> you hear me? What you going to do when somebody say, you know what? I'm getting the fuck up out of here and really actually level up. Chariot energy. Pass your ass. That's when they get in a nine of swords. All right. That's when they start facing reality. Like, well, off the camera, off social media, off anybody in our business. I'm really sad because I really know the truth. All right. And the truth is that this man not playing. That this man not playing. This man played with me long enough. This man gave a lot of his time, his money, his energy and lost a lot long enough. This man is a whole emperor out here. You think he got time to be playing with day to day shit? He's coming out as a major iconist, which tells me that this side, look, he's not playing. Do you know how much men you'd had in your life? You had a whole emperor. Or four kings. You had a king of swords. Somebody that was willing to protect their family. Willing to make right decisions. As long as their heart was fulfilled. You had a knight of wands. A go-getter. Look good. Smell good. The life of the party. You have some, you have, you had somebody that was born to win. Ace of swords. Ace of wands. You had somebody that was able to get over conflict. Move past chaos. Chariot. What more did you want? She didn't know what to do with this person. And this person didn't know they value as an emperor. Reflecting from this. Okay. But I could tell you that they gained strength. Out of this whole connection. They gained morals. They gained values. They realize when to take action and when not. They also know when to cut off people from their energy. But when I tell you there's a strong magnetic connection here between somebody else. They moved on to a higher level soulmate. They moved on to somebody that could balance them and really hear them out instead of going through all of this extra shit. Because somebody was secretly dealing with trauma. They learned that peace, comfortability is very important in someone's night rest. So that way they can wake up with vitality and strength and courage and inspiration to fuel them throughout the day. Somebody has moved on and leveled up in a connection 
This emperor no realize what's the difference. This emperor realize what's this two of cups and this love is called. They realize when they know this is just never going to work. That's what I'm seeing, collective. They know where they not, where they, where they, where they can't sleep at and where they can't sleep at. They know where they're not being given a headache. Where they could feel strong like a king in the morning and handle business. This is a strong and this is, has been being communicated. Maybe that's why this person has been acting out like this. Because this, this is the communicated. This is being communicated. So there must have been some type of back and forth about this. But to have somebody like this on your side. And to be doing all of this mess, this is like even showing somebody how immature you are. Like you coming out as a queen, but where? Where? Trying to mask your feelings. Okay. So, um, spirit, anything else for this damn queen of wands? Somebody is moving away to karma waters because somebody feels like they do not have to put up with the bullshit. Somebody's a whole emperor out here. Somebody is a whole queen out here. Where is their time for the bullshit? Unless you just want to be that person. Devil energy. Having too much power and control over the people's direction of life because you're not winning no more. Because you fell into a cycle where you got to heal. Somebody moving away, baby. Somebody found a solution and that was upgrading. That was leveling up. That was finding solutions to problems that was hindering them. Six of Swords. Somebody feel peaceful for this too. Spirit, anything else about this emperor? The Sun card. Your choice to move forward. Your choice to realize who the fuck you are. Look what you coming out as. The ace, the sun, the, the, the sun card, the lover's card. This is already a divine connection. This already was written in the stars. This was already in your Akashic records. This was already in your fucking contract. All right. You just able to really experience that by putting your foot down and knowing who you was dealing with and who you should be dealing with. Knowing only the elite is supposed to have your energy because you got too much strength for motherfuckers. A lot of people can't handle a balanced and whole handsome man. Okay. Moving forward. All right. Nothing can hold them back. Making wise decisions. Shit moving fast. All right. Knowing what they want out of life. Still being able to be that man. Mm, to make a decision. Okay. That's a lot of men right there. All right. To, to be dealing with a queen of wands. That is really sad on the inside, but that is dealing with karma and, and cleaning up karmic cycles after projecting their ego and doing things for clout that penalize others for their greater good after continuing to argue with a messenger from God. The emperor is second to God. Well, after the Hierophant, you know, but the Hierophant is the one who teaches the emperor, just like the high preacher, priest teaches the empress. This person was a messenger from God and received nothing but headache, nothing but ridicule. Uh, this person was ridiculed, um, tormenting, no peace while they sleep, feeling like their ideas was too big in that relationship. To have to create their own balance, which was possibly hard, but it wasn't impossible to realize that something was greater out there than this connection. So, and the choice was to move the fuck forward, to go, because that shit was holding you back. You hear me? Yeah, holding you back from your motherfucking happiness. Y'all going straight into happiness. Y'all, y'all, y'all diving right into happiness. Y'all moving, y'all pursuing happiness. This is the pursuit to happiness. Okay. Yeah, and defending your territory, blocking everything out that was in that energy. Yeah, putting an end. You hear me? Putting an end to that energy. 
So that way y'all can motherfucking shine. Yup. And look. Look what the star is reflecting. A king of fucking pentacles. Very stable in this earthly realm. Clean all of that up. That shit won't happen again. Alright. I love you guys and I hope that helped.